guys, welcome to episode 6 of the FC Kern career mode here on FIFA 20. The kit's arrived. We're now fully looking the part. Got the Bundesliga badge on the arm as well. Really hoping that now we look the part in person, we can look the part on the field as well. We're having an indifferent season. One that is better than FC Kern are having in real life, so we can't be too disheartened. But still, we'd certainly like to add a few more victories to our wins tally. We've only picked up four of the opening 13 games with regards a three-point haul. We're top of the bottom half, sat in 10th, but only two points by Wolfsburg in 9th. We have three games in today's episode, but only two of them are in the league. It's, F it's uh, Union Berlin, followed by uh, Werfeld Bochum in the Cup. And then Werder Bremen at home at the end of the episode to uh, round out the month of December. Now, we'll be heading into January tomorrow. So we will, at the end of the episode, and throughout the course probably, have a think about what we're going to do in January. Now, depending on what happens in the cup game, if we go through and the next round is drawn in January, then I'll probably split the month into two because we'll have six games. Rather than play three, play two sim four, I'll probably play two sim one play two sim one throughout the course of January in two episodes and hopefully get some transfer business done as well because we've Leverkusen at home, Eintracht Frankfurt away, Wolfsburg at home, Dortmund away and then Freiburg at home as well with the potential of adding another cup game to that mix also. So we'll wait and see what happens in that regard. Currently, financially, we don't have much money. £22,000 only in the, in the transfer budget at the minute. I can... If I, alter, alter, if I alter the budget, get myself up to about 2 million. But we do have Taroda to sell. And I'll be completely honest, I'm very unimpressed with Anthony Modesta. I know he's a fan favourite at Kern. But if we're going to want to take the next step up with the team, I think Modesta might have to move on. Taroda is uh, still rejecting contract terms from anyone that comes in for him. Hopefully we can agree a deal for him. I haven't yet listed Modesta, but I am contemplating doing so. Of course, Bodu's loan deal will expire in January. It was only a short-term loan. I may look to loan him in again if they'd be willing to let me have him. And also sell Modesta and buy someone else. Modesta's valued at 11.5 million currently. So we could get about that for him. We could maybe... If we stretch a little bit with Toronto, stretch a bit with Modesta, maybe get ourselves a maximum of about £20 million to spend on a striker. I am contemplating still bringing in Lucas Podolski, however, because, of course, he's uh, not that expensive at all. And I could do that. Morelos, has he agreed terms? He has. Morelos is going to go to Hamburg in January, so we cannot agree terms with him. But Podolski, we could agree for. We could... Oh, I can approach him directly. It's not going to let me sign him. Oh, it's not going to let me have him on a permanent. So I could do now, actually. That might be even better. We could sign him with regards contract terms and get Lucas Podolski in next season as a good squad player. Hopefully improve his physicals as they will probably start to drop a little bit uh, by training him just to... Well, hopefully he's having a good season at Vissel Kobe and dynamic potential will take over and his, uh, his stats will remain a little bit higher. They're quite happy to accept the rotation role. Lukas Podolski want, would want a two-year contract. Quite happy to accept a two-year contract for Lukas. To be fair, he might not be playing too much longer past that. Two-year deal is, is good enough for me. We'll disregard a release clause. That's not a problem. Now, what do they want wage-wise? He's on 9,000. I'll offer him 10. I genuinely don't think he'll want too much more than that. No? Apparently he would want a lot more than that. Okay. Maybe because the Bundesliga is a higher... A league in higher stature. They'd want more. I'd play him at Cam. He wouldn't be playing at striker, obviously, because he just doesn't have the physicality for it. But at central attack in midfield, he could certainly do a job... Uh, Especially with the uh, the long shot trait. And obviously that wand of a left foot. Right, I'm going to take Anthony Modesta out of the starting lineup here. And I'm going to throw Cordoba back in. 
We'll wait and see what happens over the course of the episode. What I might do, actually, is add Modesta to the transfer list, see if we can drum up some interest between now and the uh, transfer window arriving. And we'll just play it by ear and see what happens. But we've three games to play. The Kern shirt is on. Hopefully, we'll be able to lure Lucas Podolski back to the club and the hero will return. But for now, we're going to concentrate on playing this away game. Let's play it in this kit and see if we can get three points against Union Berlin. Kivic in goal. Friedrich Nevan Subotic and Hubner at the back. Kroos in midfield, as well as Mays and a couple of others. Goja and Santana either side of Anderson up top. It's a 3-4-2-1. With a member of the Crows family in midfield. I'm not sure what his first name is, actually. He is related to Tony, though. He looks pretty much like Tony as well, to be fair, in his picture. We'll wait and see what we can do here. Nevan Subotic obviously used to be pretty uh, decent centre-back for Borussia Dortmund back in the day. And Hubner's no uh, easy man to get past either. But with only three at the back, hopefully we can uh, expose them a little bit. I'm going to have to be wary, though, of their three up top and having four in midfield as well. If they commit numbers forward, then we could be uh, up against it. We're playing in the snow, though, so it's not going to be easy for either side to get the ball down and play. What I do need to do, actually, and I'll make this a permanent change once we get back to the menus, because I keep forgetting to do it, is switch to the 4-2-3-1 narrow so that Schindler and Kainz are a little bit further up the pitch. Just notice there that Schindler's actually grown to 74 rated as well, which is good news. So we're seeing some growth throughout the squad and hopefully we'll see some growth in our points tally by the end of the episode as well. Schindler into Cordoba. Schaub there. Cordoba's going to go again. Play it around the outside the defender to him. Schindler's arriving in the box. The touch is heavy. It'll fall for Schau, but I can't get the shot away. And anywhere will do for Gigovic. Oh, it's a lovely ball into Anderson. who's on side and Timo Horn denies him. As soon as I say they're not that good going forward, they have the best chance of the game. Andrik with the corner then to come in from this near side. Oh, looking for something from the training ground. Perhaps Subotic down to Anderson. Cross blocked and anywhere will do for me. I'll just smack that away. Oh, good touch into Subotic. And Hubner can lay that back to Kroos. And here's Gozia. Nice tackle. Shell, good footwork. Worked that out nicely to Kainz. And the counter-attack is on. It appears, though, their three at the back is going to become a five when they're defending. Get that through there, though, to Schindler. That was nicely done. And I've got support here. There are two in the middle. Three, if you include Schalvis arriving on the edge of the box, but hacked away well. Oh, it's a heavy touch. Can they make the most of that? Jonas Hex has won it back. Come on then, lads. Bit of space here. Late in front of Skiri. Oh, cracker! What a finish from Skiri! As soon as he took that heavy touch, a lot of players have been taking heavy touches here, but he sat up nicely to take the shot, and that has flown into the net. Not so sure about celebrating in front of the home fans quite like that, but we will take it. What a goal. The touch is so heavy, and I thought the defender was going to get there, but it just bobbled up nicely. And well, that is a strike from Skiri. Bosh! Pinged that right into the top corner. So far, I think that might well be goal of the season. That and Vistrada's one in the last episode. Maybe Cordoba's against Bayern as well. The three of them certainly contending for goal of the season. Maybe we'll get one that just stands alone above the rest between now and the end of the year. But we have been scoring some really nice strikes so far this year in season number one at FC Kern. 1-0 up. Cross around the corner here to Mies. That's a cross again. Or to Mies again. Oh, that's a better ball. Win that, please. Well up, Ezebue. Can we get to that with Shell? We can. And he's gotten away from the man that was with him. Kroos can't cope with the pace of Shell. He's not the fastest, but he is quite agile. Oh, he's caught from behind there. And the referee will blow. And I presume give Kroos a yellow card for that. Because it was from behind and it was late. Wait and see. Ref, you gonna, what are you giving him? Not sure. Yes, I think it was a yellow card for Kroos. Anton go short. Play the one-two. As you go back through there, oh, looking for Cordova. I just tried to squeeze the ball around the corner with an angle that wasn't really lending itself to actually a decent quality pass. That's a nice one too. And Balta could set Union Berlin away down this left-hand side. Jorge Mera drawn out of position to get to him, but does so really nicely. Now, can we add a second before half-time? I'll go back to Schindler here and drop the shoulder. Now, use that acceleration, Schindler. Get to it. Good lad. He's racing away. We'll turn. 
will look for support. Oh, Cordoba backed away from it and Hubner stepped in. It's going to be 1 0 at half time, but I think we're good value for that lead. That will bounce all the way through to keeps. Do I make any other changes? Let's bring Frustrata on for Cotsiello. A little bit more physical. He's grown, actually, Frustrata as well, which is nice to see. We actually have quite a young team here at FC Kern. There are a lot of players in their early to mid, at max like 26 years of age, uh, players in this squad, specifically in the starting 11. The majority are like 22, 23, 24. So there's a lot of room for growth here with the team, hopefully, with the dynamic potential uh, added into career mode this year, especially with... Uh, Hopefully the Realism mod adding to that too. So we'll wait and see if this side can, with the players we've got, take us all the way to the top over the course of a few seasons. Because of the nature of our finances, we won't have a massive amount of money really in any season until we're in European competition. So it's going to be a case of kind of one or two signings max a season or youth players coming through or low knees perhaps. So it's not going to be a massive quick race to the top of the Bundesliga table which is good we don't want that we want this to be more of a road to glory style save and with the changes made to career mode by EA with regards how the top teams perform now and obviously with the addition of oh, realism mod stuff as well it's going to be a real task and a real grind to get to the top of domestic and then subsequently European football but I believe in this Kern side and with the right addition or two Oh, we can do it, I believe. But we're going to have to be better than we are right now. Union Berlin equalise. Ball over the top. Great first touch. And then the header on his own there, Santana. And it's right in the corner. Could the keeper have gotten to that? Maybe. He's seemingly at almost full stretch, but not. his arm's still bent. If he'd have gone full extension, he might have got fingertips to that. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Change is being made now, but five minutes before full time. Annoyingly, they've pulled themselves level. And they're to Schaub. Cordoba is there. Here's Vistrata now. Fresh legs off the bench. Into Schaub. Drop the shoulder. And could find Cordoba. And has done nicely. He gets tackled, though. I need someone that's going to hold the ball up better than that. The defenders are so quick to put a foot in. And I just don't have... Anyone that's any good at hold-up play. I thought Cordoba and Modesta, with them both being tall, physical players, would be good at that. But they're not. It's half the reason why I've been so frustrated with Modesta. Because I was hoping to use him the same way that we used Charlie Austin at Southampton in FIFA 18. Hold the ball up, turn players, and just crack it. But I'm holding the ball up a little bit, turning, and then losing possession. It's just not working for me at the minute. Dortmund beat Dusseldorf, Leipzig beat Hoffenheim, Wolfsburg smacked Freiburg. We've had a transfer for Schau, which is something old turned out. It's a big offer as well, a very big offer, showing that he certainly is one of our best players there. AC Milan are offering almost twice his valuation to try and get him away from me. Cotsiello was the man we last trained. We shall train Haza, and then we shall head into the cup game against VfL Bochum. Lee Chung Yong is the tournament's top goal scorer so far this season. A hat-trick in the previous round. We'll wait and see if he can actually do something similar against us here. Bochum are in the division below us, as were St. Pauli in the previous round. But we played a rotation 11 against St. Pauli and had to rely on a penalty win. Starting my full-strength first team this time, regardless of opposition. So hopefully we can get ourselves through with a little bit more ease this time. Although after only drawing against Union Berlin, I'm not sure how confident I am. We'll wait and see what their starting lineup looks like. Obviously, I recognised a couple of names from the uh, Union Berlin starting eleven. Recognise uh, Lee Chung Yong, of course. Uh, there's Danilo in there. I'm not sure if that's the uh, Danilo, the centre back that used to be at Udinese. I imagine it's not Danilo that used to be. He's, he's playing a left back. Or he's playing a wing back. I imagine it's not the Danilo that was at Manchester City. But other than that, I don't recognise any of the other players. So we'll wait and see uh, how good VfL Bochum are. I'm just going to double check that that isn't Danilo, from Man formerly of Manchester City. Uh, let's have a look. Chris oh, Christian Gamboa, I recognise that name. He used to play for West Brom, did he? And no, it's, it's a different Danilo. It's not the da not either Danilo that I was uh, thinking of previously. But regardless of who they've got in their starting eleven, we want the victory. Shibuwe steals that away. 
hoping to be better in better conditions here under the lights in the dry and the well not probably not warm in December but not the snow most importantly good block on that and they'll have a corner after six minutes here obviously a half decent side to made it this far in the competition although the German third division is now on FIFA of course so they may well have had an easier run to this stage of the competition than in previous iterations of FIFA where previously if they'd have been playing Bundesliga or uh, teams in the second division they may have just had two third division teams to this point which is why Lee Sung Young is scoring so many goals in the competition but we'll wait and see how good they are here and obviously dominating the opening stages Gamboa into Jan Elt Florian Kainz gets a foot in and the counter-attack opportunity is on and they committed a lot more bodies forward than uh, Union Berlin did in the last game. Schaub isn't the fastest, but he's getting away here. I'm going to have to turn away from the defender that's with me here. Look for support, which we have through Verstrata, who actually have given a start here. Oh, and I can't get that to Schindler, but he was offside anyway. Looks like at the minute, we're going to have to be drawing pressure and then catching them on the counter. I would like to try and dominate the game a little bit better, though, if I can. Drop of the shoulder. Nice interception by Florian Kainz. Ah, that's poor. It's poor. Very poor from Skiri. Here's Jan Elt. Into Lee. They play really high line, Bochum. And they're committing a lot of men forward. After half an hour, though, we're still waiting for a proper chance for either side on goal. We might get one here. Jan Elt in behind. He's pulled it back. And if it weren't for Ezebue cutting in... I think that might have been on its way into the back of the net. Great angle for it as well. And I'm not sure the keeper would have gotten to that. Off the knee of Ezebue. And away for a corner. Definitely was going in if it weren't for the interception. And intervention of the defender. And that's on its way on target as well. Timo Horn gathers. Just slow things down. Calm it down. And try and build. Oh, come on. How he hasn't found a teammate there, I'm not sure. Flick that away. I tried to get that to Schindler and haven't been able to. I'm not playing very well here. Schindler intercepts. The pressure from Bochum, though, is just squeezing me high up the field. And I'm struggling to build my way away. I can't just loft it towards Cordova because he's not going to win the ball and hold it up very well. So I'm having to pass the ball out. But there are so many Bochum players in my half that I can't... I'm struggling to find my own, my own teammates time and time again. Right, so we'll get it forward there to Schaub, but Lucia tracking back wins it off me. Oh, and I thought I could have got there with Schaub as well, but I couldn't. Jan Elt, Vineland, Verstrata wins it back. Really, oh, jeeps. Really good play from Bochum. They are coming into this one with a game plan, and thus far the game plan is working and working well. Bloom lifts that towards Lee, and Anton has to head behind for another corner. I mean, he nearly scored from the last one. Two minutes to go till half-time. Oh, looped towards the back post and headed away by Jorge Mera, thankfully. Get to that, please, Cordoba. Well done. Oh, but he's chested it straight to the Bochum man. Violent to Christian Gamboa. Can he get around the corner and cross it? No, he's gone back in support. If they don't do something now, it's going to be... It probably is going to be one... Oh, sorry, nil-nil at half-time. Unless I can find Schindler with this. No. Smacking it off to Carly. That'll be nil-nil at the break, but... They are the better team without any shadow of doubt. It's good football again from Bochum. Thankfully, Ezebue gets to that. Oh, and they're just doing it to me again. I can't deny them that goal. I cannot build anything against Bochum. It's almost like the AI has learned how I play my football and has reacted accordingly and is dominating me. They just throw bodies forward. Pressure on a heavy touch. Pressure when they lose possession. And in general, just a high line. I can do nothing. Absolutely nothing against that. I don't have the quality of player to be able to pass around them. I might be going out of the cup here. I'd be interested to see how Bochum are getting on in the league. Because if they play this well in uh, domestic league competition, then surely they'd be in with a shout getting promoted up to... The Bundesliga, that's another good cross. Ezebue heads away. I'm going to have to be a lot more careful and considerate with my passing, I think. I'll look over the top here for Cordoba, though. But Lorenz cuts that out. 
half an hour or so to play and I don't have much in the way of positive thoughts with regards to how this game's going to end unless Shaub can change that now good save oh is Abue where's that going side netting only what a ball what a ball to Lukinas brought on Bodu up top just to try and change things around hopefully he can be the uh, fresh new face we need in this 11 in this fixture to get ourselves an equalizing goal here he is touch was decent we get that through there to Shao no but he's picked up the ball again and we'll find Schindler we'll go back to him here Bodu and he's working some space but the defender sticks a leg in 20 minutes to go nice tackle Skiri through that gap Bodu I've got runners I'll lift it it might reach. Shao! <laughs> oh, mate. Could you have headed that any further wide? Here's Vince Heimer. Back to Lukinias. I read that turn, but I couldn't get the tackle in. Janilt. Here's Danilo on the overlap. Little back heel. Lukinias. Danilo again. Oh, dangerous ball. That's flicked away. Need to get rid of that. Oh, dearie me. Right, counter-attack. Bodu, make me the run. He's on his bike. Oh, the ball isn't good enough. Just lacking quality in this Kern side right now. Just need better players, I think. Just need better players. Oh, looking for Shalbo. No! He's offside. Oh, that was the chance. He was in. He was in. He was in. He was in. But he was also off. With... Five seconds to play. I'm out of the cup. We are out of the cup. FC Kern are, on paper, one of the worst sides in the Bundesliga. And have been up and down in the last few seasons. So it's not too much of a surprise that we're as average as we have been so far this season. I am slightly disappointed that we aren't doing a little bit better, though. Interested to know where Bochum are in the uh, the league below. Bayern batter Schalke, Freiburg beat Hanover, Bielefeld win on penalties against Paderborn. Although Paderborn aren't exactly having the best of seasons in the Bundesliga this year, are they? Let's have a look. Bader wanted to play in that game, but I uh, I said no. Uh, Bundesliga's Zwei. Where are we? Bundesliga's Zwei. Where are Bochum? 14th they are they did not play like a side that are 14th in the league below me at all well wow, Ingolstadt are battering everyone else in that division how are things going in the Premier League so far City have won or Liverpool as well have both won 15 of the 17 It'll be a two horse race for the title there again the teams yes I did say I did say I probably wasn't going to play you risk of losing a player Thomas Kessler not bothered. Not bothered by losing him at all. We will be losing uh, Bodu soon, but I will try and extend... Oh, well, I'll go in for him again on loan if I can. In fact, let me just re-add him to my uh, shortlist so I, I don't have to do it again later. Bodu. All right, no, no actions, okay? I can't add him to my shortlist even though he's... A Regardless, never mind. Let's try and get Lucas Podolski again, shall we? See if we can get that done so he'll join us next season. Uh, rotation role, they were quite happy to agree that last time. And indeed he was. In fact, let me just get a print screen of that for the thumbnail. Two years, yes, quite happy with that. Except no release clause, that's fine. Now, is he going to give me an idea of what he wants wage-wise this time? No. I offered 10 last time and he basically told me where to go. I offer him 20 plus 100 grand. I'm sure he'll sign that. How much money does he want? How much money? Lucas! How much money do you want, mate? Give me an idea. Well, I'll try again after the game against Werder Bremen. Transfer for Jorge Mero of nearly 40 million. Reject. Oh, right. Let's put in a better performance against Werder Bremen, please. 
Havlenka in goal for Werder Bremen. He'll be a decent keeper. Top rack at the back as well for them, including Augustinsson. Nuri Shaheen in their midfield as well as Davy Klaassen. Milot Rashitska. Or Milot Rashitska even. Overside with Eggestein of Osaka in a false nine. Wait and see if this Barcelona style 4-3-3 is any good against me. There's Cordoba. Oh, it's meant for Jonas Hector, but he's played in Florian Kainz. We'll lift it into the middle and... Velkovic will head away for a throw. But we're on the attack to begin the game, which is good news. Hector will lay that in front of Cotsiello. I've support here. Oh, that was meant for Skiri. Go on, Cotsiello. Shell plays him in. Cotsiello, the Frenchman, can't bury it. No! Oh, I just cannot seem to score with this FC Kern side. That was the main problem for us at Southampton on FIFA 18. I couldn't score. And then I just had, thankfully, Charlie Austin bang in a few goals for me towards the end of the season to keep me up. Hopefully, relegation won't be a problem for us this season, but certainly we need to be better in front of goal. Oh, it's good football from Werder Bremen. I am really worried about Milot Rashitsa on this left-hand side. We signed him in the stream career mode we're doing with Leicester City. And, well, he's really bloody good. Asako shot on target but dealt with. Bowl this up with Timo Horn. Oh, Eggestein gets to it first, though. Down the line to Lang. I almost called him Scott Lang then, but no, this isn't the Avengers. Win that. They've not got Ant-Man at right back. Nice physicality there by Schindler. And Shao played in. Counter-attack. Cordoma, make me a decent run, please. Oh, we can't hold the ball up very well at all. Thankfully, he's done well enough on this occasion. Kainz, Lang closing me down. Cordoba is there. I'll bend it from the edge of the box. Good block by Omar Toprak. Played to get some decent centre-backs in this episode. Some decent former Borussia Dortmund centre-backs in this episode. Toprak and... Um... Oh, get there. Skiri. Oh, my God. We scored a goal. Skiri buries it. We're 1-0 up. Now let's hold on to the lead, please, this time. We should have beaten Union Berlin. We didn't. Bochum, hands held high. They deserve that. But let's win this one. Rashica down the left-hand side to begin the second half for Werder Bremen. And well, he's just run into the defender there. But he's still going. And he's found David Klaassen here. And Jorge Mera wins it back. Justifying why... Big teams are offering big money for Jorge Mera. And also justifying why I'm turning all of that money down. Because I'm not going to be able to replace Jorge Mera for that sort of money. I need If, I, if I'm to replace him, which I highly doubt I ever will, I'm going to need upwards of 60 to 70 for Jorge Mera if we're to adequately replace him at centre-back. And that's not happening. The rain continues to pour down here at the Ryan Energy Stadion. But as they continue to rain down pressure on our goal as well, we stand firm. The umbrellas are up in the stands. And hopefully the umbrella is up in front of goal as well. We'll keep them out. We know that goals have been an issue for us this year. We know that we need to do something about it in January. We know that we have to sell to buy. But hopefully one goal will be enough on this occasion to give us victory. It wasn't against Union Berlin. They scored a late equaliser. But I'm hoping to stand firm on this occasion. 25 minutes to go. The pressure continues for Werder Bremen as it has throughout the majority of the game so far. But the false 9-4-3-3 hasn't broken us down to this point. They keep having efforts though. But we keep keeping them out. Stand firm, boys. Let's get this W. If I rush it, I'll lose possession. We don't have the quality of player to be able to rush things. Oh, it's a lovely turn by Cordoba, but Toprak gets back at him. Still lacking that quality. Thankfully, so are they offensively. And our early-ish first-half goal still keeps us ahead. Oh, Cordoba, you just... 
He started the season really well, Cordoba, and I thought, hello, we're going to have another Charlie Austin on our hands. But it hasn't turned out that way. The goals have dried up. And unfortunately, we haven't had anyone else step up to the plate, step up to the plate properly yet. Schaub has chipped in with a couple. Florian Kainz has chipped in with a couple. But nobody is banging them in left, right and centre to help either keep us away from the relegation zone or drive us towards those European spots. We're falling further and further away from the European spots and getting closer and closer to that relegation zone. Schaub, though, holding everybody off. Schindler, bury it mate, oh what a save from Pavlenka, what a stop, vital for his team, with just two and a half minutes to go, we might, we might yet get victory or a second goal, please go out, Rashid's is fast, and he's going to keep that in, I brought on uh, Bodu up top and Vestrata in midfield, hoping to catch him on the counter and be solid enough defensively, but Rashitz is in behind here. Schindler trying to close him down. There's a Bue tracking Mac as well. who pushed a long way forward from right back. Oh, and he's passed me here, Augustine. Some decent delivery. Anton away. Win that, Cordoba. hasn't ref, please. Three points for FC Kern. A big three points as well. Really big three points. I needed that. We really needed that. Thankfully, we've held on to our 1-0 lead despite all of the pressure from Werder Bremen. We'll go to the post-match interview. I've been avoiding them recently because I don't want the tough questions. Hopefully, though, we can build our morale from this victory. I'll answer the questions honestly. I'm not going to try and uh, artificially boost my morale, but I can now go and make sure I answer the questions in the right way. He certainly deserves the praise. Anton has been a great partner for Jorge Mera at the back. And I'm really pleased with the way that he's come in and done a job for us. You were able to secure victory today before half-time. Are you pleased with how things went in the second half? Um, we should have put the game beyond doubt is true. But we just need to focus on the next match. Each game as we come, try and improve, score more goals. And hopefully in the next episode or two, we'll add to... The uh, striking talent. He managed to turn the tide and find the decisive goal. Given there wasn't much to split the two sides, was the win ever in doubt? I did have my doubts, but I trusted that they would... Oh, comfort zone. Select a response from every existing category during a... Okay, we just got an achievement. You thank... You're welcome. You're more than welcome. Right. Delighted to have gotten the three points. Modesta is questioning whether... He... He should be starting. Uh, I'm going to say your demands are out of place. You've not been scoring the goals. Uh, compose yourself is all I'll say to Bader. Modesto, I want out of the club. So I'm going to continue to be relatively standoffish if he comes to me in the player chats. And hopefully we can kind of force him out of the club. It's not the nicest of ways to do it. But I'm going to do what I feel like I need to do for the best of the for the betterment of the team. Oh, I still can't go in for Lucas Podolski again. I want to bring the King home. Hopefully by the end of the week, we will be... i tell you what, Bader needs to calm down. Uh, Timo Haasel wants out. We're going to have to offer him a contract then. Bader, it's really disappointing to not be involved in the team. Uh, can you go on loan somewhere? Certainly. I'll, off, I'll, I'll offer you out on loan then, Bader. Fair enough. At least he's come with a solution. He's not just complaining. He's actually come to me with a solution, Vader. Submitted a loan request. Oh, he's actually automatically put him on the loan list. Fair enough. I agree. Good decision. Man, he's looking out for his own future. Good lad. Right, Lucas Podolski, approach to sign. How much am I going to have to offer him to get him in? I genuinely don't know. He wants rotation. That's fine. That's what we offered him before. Give me an idea of what you want wage-wise so you don't just keep walking off. You probably want two years, but I'll offer him three if we can get into that. Good. Tell me what you want, wage wise, Lucas. Give me an idea of what you want, please. Oh! Fine. 30... £32,000 a week and a £150,000 signing on fee. Sign the contract. 
Lucas Podolski returns to FC Kern for the third time. The King of Kern is back. Deal done. He will join us next season and be a crucial squad player. Can't wait to get using that left foot from distance. He's dropped a couple of ratings, but hopefully he's had a good season at Vissel Kobe. I'll actually check and see how they're doing as a team. Let's have a look. Uh, in the J-League, Kobe, please be near the top. They're sixth. They've scored 62 goals, though, this season. They've scored 62 goals. I don't know, as I can see uh, stats for other leagues. I can't, can I, really? I can, I can see old league tables for us. A few all fixtures and results in all the competitions we're involved in, but I can't see how many goals uh, Lucas Podolski may well have scored this season. But we have 1.77 million to spend. I need a striker. I definitely, 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 definitely need a striker. A loan offer for Bader will accept that. And what I do need to do actually is uh, call up the youngster whilst I don't forget. We'll have a look at those two youth scout reports as well. So Dima Haas wanted him uh, promoting, which we'll do. Lucas De Witt, 80 to 96 now, and 63 to 87 for Louis Schwartz. So his potential has dropped considerably, but we'll wait and see how he grows. We'll wait and see how he grows. Hopefully, he can still be a decent player for us. And Hazer, provided we can continue to improve his technicals, physically, he's probably already good enough to have a solid impact. So hopefully, he'll still grow relatively well. We'll wait and see. I might, I might loan list him, actually. In fact, I will loan list him. Although, if you guys have alternative ideas, then do let me know. If you think it's a bad idea to loan list him and it will affect his potential, then I'll, I'll take him off again. But I've got Modesta and I've got Cordoba on the transfer list. So we can raise some money. Hopefully, they'll agree moves away. I will try and get... Um, Bodu on loan again, we might have to rely on another loan deal. We might have to rely on another loan deal to continue to improve up top. But clearly, Haza is responding to training and growing nicely, up to 58 rated now. And his physicals are improving too with that training. We're 10th in the league. We have a game in hand, actually. We have a game in hand. Our goal difference isn't that good. We're still only averaging a goal a game, which just is not good enough. Is not good enough. We're well out of the way of the European spots. Six points away from Schalke, but they have a game in hand on us, as well as two on those above them. Dortmund's still walking the league so far. Bayern are trying to keep keep pace with them. And down at the bottom, Paderborn still yet to win. Four points only for them. Augsburg on 10, Dusseldorf on 13. So we're six points away from Europe and seven points away from the relegation playoff. An indifferent first season that could turn either way between now and the end of the season, depending on what happens in January. Don't let me down, lads. Let me know who I can get either on a permanent transfer for under 20 million or players that I could potentially loan in January for the rest of the season. Or maybe even for a couple of years. Let me know down below. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on more. I'll see you in the next one tomorrow.